Hello, hello, welcome back. We are still here at the Urban League of Northwest Indiana where we are presenting scholarships to high school graduating seniors from Lake Porter and LaPorte counties. I am Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod and I'm so glad that you all are here witnessing this wonderful event. Many of you know that these students had to go through some challenges last year. COVID shut us down and the seniors could not go to school. I couldn't go to school, you couldn't go to school, some of you couldn't even go to work because of COVID. But guess what? These students persevered. They completed their criteria and all the obligations that they needed to do for graduation. Plus, they applied for scholarships. That meant they had to upload their SAT and ACT uh, scores. They had to get two or three letters of recommendations and submit those and upload those. Plus, they had to write an essay. And that was the most pivotal point in the whole application process. They did this while they were locked in on the computer doing e-learning. What is that? Whoever thought that we would all be locked in trying to finish school through a computer and talking to our teachers and our counselors. But guess what? This class did it. So I'm just very happy that you all are joining us to celebrate their accomplishments. But before I bring them up, I want to acknowledge some people in my office. I want to make sure that you know that not only are they getting money, like 500 here, 1,000 here, 2,500 here. In fact, a couple of students, they're getting so much money, I have already called for security to walk them to their cars because they have so much money in their pockets. So stay tuned. But they're also receiving some other gifts that one of my other staff members uh, is providing, and that is Mrs. Elisa Spencer. She's going to come up and tell you what's in their gift bag. Mrs. Elisa Spencer is the coordinator of the neighborhood research specialist, and I may have gotten that all wrong, but all you need to know is we're giving them some gifts. So come on up, Ms. Spencer. Good morning. Um, we have a beautiful gift bag here. Ms. Bernice Franklin um, donated some Chick-fil-A mm. gift cards. <laughs> the Urban League is providing a beautiful face mask 2021. And then we have a beautiful portfolio for the students. And then we have some more goodies down in the bag. So enjoy the rest of the event. So not only are they receiving money, they're receiving a gift bag with Chick-fil-A. I love that chicken noodle soup at Chick-fil-A. And then they also have cupcakes that they're leaving out. We have to give them a little something, you know, to take on their way. But without further ado, I want to bring Horizon Bank up. Horizon Bank is going to come and present one of the students from Michigan City their scholarship. Horizon Bank is located right over here on Grant Street in Gary. They have a new office. Before you go to college students, I need you to go over there and open up an account. So without further ado, let me bring Lewis and Kenneth, come on up. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We've all been vaccinated. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Glad to see everyone here. First, I introduce myself, I'm Lewis Scott. I'm Vice President of Community Development with Horizon Bank. And joining me today is our Community Reinvestment Officer, Kenneth Winchington. On behalf of Horizon Bank and the Mid-Year Award, um, we would like to bring up Maria Scully and present a scholarship offer to her. She couldn't be here today. She's in a nursing internship program. Okay. Tell, tell us on the, on, the, on, the, on the, tell us, Mr. Buzz, where she is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, Miss Scully couldn't be here today, so her father, uh, Mr. Scully, asked me if I would step in. She's in a nursing internship program in Indianapolis. That's why she could be here today. So on behalf of Mr. Scully and the Scully family, thank you all the Rising Bank, and congratulations to this young lady, and I'm honored to accept uh, that $10,000 check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. We definitely thank you for being here. And thank you for Maria for all her hard work. Uh, her essay was amazing. Everything she went through the past year with schooling, having to fight through with COVID, and having 
exceptional grades and everything she's doing in the community. We definitely appreciate her. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you again. Thank you again. All right. have another presentation today that we're going to make to a student who's already received a thousand dollars earlier from Horizon Bank. Because he was such an outstanding student and he wrote an outstanding application and essay, he's winning some more money. I think it's another thousand dollars. So I'm going to ask Dr. Beverly Lewis to come forward and talk about the Martin Scholarship. Dr. Lewis? Good morning, everyone. The um, Martin Family Province Scholarship is for a student who's in the Gary O'Merrillville High School who um, is a graduating senior. This scholarship is to honor Dr. and Mrs. Martin for being products of the Gary O'Merrillville schools. And so the requirements for each scholarship, this one included, include a community service, included activity. So oftentimes when students uh, apply for scholarships or have completed high school, they have not participated as much. And so participation is also very key in addition to writing the essay and to having the appropriate grades in order to get the scholarship. So today the Martin Family Promise Scholarship is being presented to Damari Rozier from West Side Leadership <laughs> the amount of a thousand dollars. I'm coming on the other side of him. Come on. You stay right there. <laughs> we are so glad that Demaria has done such an outstanding job and I just want to say I'm really happy that this is a young man who has matriculated through all of his junior high school and high school years, and he's going off to college. So I'd like Demaria to tell us where you're going, what your major is, and whatever else you want to tell us. Okay, first off, I want to thank the Martin family for um, awarding me with the scholarship. Um, I'm going to be attending Indiana University Northwest, where I'm going to study computer information systems. I'm going to obtain my four-year degree and hopefully make some more money. <laughs> <laughs> He is going places. He's going places. So thank you so much to the Martin family. And I just want to acknowledge the teachers, superintendent, principals of the West Side Leadership Academy, and all that you have been able to do to help him on his way as he goes off to school. We are proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. Okay. You want to take pictures now? Should we take a couple of pictures? We can keep going. All right, we're going to keep going. The next presentation will be the Guthrie Family Scholarship. Thank you, Demir. You can have a seat for a moment. Right, Demari. <laughs> well, I'm just messing the name up, right? So Demari help me. Rozier. Demari. Rozier. 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 Did I get it right? Yes. Thank you. You always need to help me sometimes <laughs> <laughs> in presentations. But we're excited today on what we're doing. And so many other students have just walked in. Uh, right now, I'd like to bring Mr. Carlton Guthrie up to the front here so he can begin his presentation. Uh, Mr. Guthrie is a graduate of, of Westside uh, High School. I know it's called Westside Leadership Academy now. But Mr. Guthrie is going to come up and tell you a little bit about himself what he's doing, what he's done with the GAPS program, where his large company is, and in, in, is it in Mi Michigan, Detroit, somewhere? But we're going to have Mr. Guthrie come on up because his family kept sending money. Mm -hmm. We would get a check for a thousand, then another thousand, and then another thousand, and then another thousand, and he has dedicated his money to West Side Leadership Academy graduates. So without further ado, I bring Mr. Carlton Guthrie up. Uh, good morning. How y'all doing? Great. I know you are. A lot of money being passed out this day. <laughs> so Guthrie Family Scholarship. Um, my family um, was raised in Terrytown. Mom and dad and five kids, five kids in seven years. 
and we were a scrappy family. Dad drove a bus, mom took in sewing, didn't have a lot of money, but what we had was a strong focus on education. Both my dad and mom were the first ones in their family to go to college, coming out of Lithonia, Georgia. They both went to Clark. Y'all familiar with Clark, right? Yeah. Historically Black College. Um, first ones in their family, and they pushed education in our family. And um, it worked. Uh, out of the five kids, four of us, we were the valedictorians or salutatorians of our high school classes. And we all graduated from Gary schools. And the education that we got in Gary schools was good enough to send us to Harvard. My brother and I both went to Harvard. My s sister and my younger brother went to Howard. Another sister went to Spelman. Um, we, 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 we kept going, kept getting graduate degrees. I've got a master's and my brother's a lawyer, my sister's a doctor. All based on the basic grounding and foundation that we got in Gary, Indiana. And that's in the school, in the churches, and in the community. So fast forward, several years later, uh, I own several businesses. We own one of the largest black owned companies in the country. We do a million dollars of business every day. I got 500 people working for me right now in Detroit, Michigan. And what we do is we make sure that we take what God has given us and we give it back. So we set up several programs to impact the communities in which we were raised. So six years ago, 2016, um, I and a few other alumni founded an organization called GAPS, Gary Alumni Pathway to Students. And the goal is to take folks who left Gary, because a lot of people believe Gary and don't come back. All right, but many of them really want to come back and help. So we created an organization that allows alumni to come back, to give back, and pay forward to the next generation. And uh, we just got a $1.3 million grant from the Illinois, Indiana Department of Education, which we're gonna focus not just on Westside, but the entire Gary Community School System in terms of helping students <laughs> get to where they need to be. So this program is rolling. Now a central part of this program is you. Because what we want to do is make sure that as you come through this school system, you get all the support, direction, and help that you need, and even beyond high school. So our program started out with just uh, two scholarships last year to um, Desiree and Kennedy. We're going to give them another scholarship this year. We got three more coming in this year: we got Demarion, um, uh, Maya, she's not here, and who's the other one? Demari. And you rack it in, man. You rack it in. <laughs> So we're going to continue to provide, and not just financial support, we're creating a website called the Guthrie Family Scholarship, and what we're going to do is help these young fig folks figure out what they want to do, and then we're going to work with them. Not just my brothers and sisters, but my nephews and nieces, they're all committed. Those are those checks she talked about coming in. Those checks were coming from folks who never were raised in the Gary system, but they understand that there's a need for folks who've made it to give back. So we're going to continue and grow this program, and we're going to extend it beyond just Westside. That's my goal, because there are a lot of deserving folks who really need this kind of support. So I want to thank you all for what you're doing. Thank you, students, for kicking, uh, about to use the word I was supposed to use, <laughs> for stepping up, okay? And my expectation is that you will continue to step up, and remember, step up, give back, pay forward. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to call the students up to the front so that Mr. Carlton Guthrie and our board chair can present the scholarships. You have a check made payable in your name. Not your sister's name, not your mom's name, but your name. This is a check in the amount of one thousand dollars. Two thousand. Oh, excuse me. Two thousand dollars. Did I, is security here somewhere so we can escort these students to their car? And don't forget, make sure you open up a checking account or savings account before you leave town. That's important. So, Miss Davis, can you come up and call the name so that they can come up? Sure. Um, at this time, we'll have Demarion to come up, please. Kennedy, you can come up. Desiree. She's been up before. We're going to have Damari come up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
is Amaya here? Nope, not here. Okay, so let's get close. Let's get close. Let's get close. <laughs> and we'll have the students say something before they uh, leave. Make sure you get that west side uh, poop. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Students, would you stay up and we'd like you to introduce yourself, uh, tell us your name, uh, your, the school that you're going to, and uh, your major. Okay, I'll go first. My name is Kennedy Rosier. I go to IUN, Indiana University of Northwest. I'm majoring in radiography, and I just want to say thank you to the Guthrie family for this opportunity to help me achieve my dreams, and thank you for this second year scholarship, and um, thank you so much for all you've done. Right. Ooh, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, who wants to go next? Hello. Uh, my name is Desiree Taylor. I go to Indiana University Bloomington, majoring in broadcast journalism. And I just want to thank the Guthrie family once again for supporting me in my dreams. Thank you. Woohoo! My name is Demarion Lewis, Gary Westside. I'm going to Franklin College in Franklin, Indiana. Thank you for this award. I really appreciate it. What will you be studying? What am I studying? Multimedia journalism. I forgot to say that. I that. I love it. One more time. Uh, my name is Demario Rozier. Um, I just graduated from West Side Leadership Academy as well. Um, I'm going to be going to Indiana University Northwest to study um, computer information systems. Once again, I want to thank the Guthrie family and everyone else who um, you know, invested in us as students so that we can invest into our community once again. Ooh. I would like the parents to come up. If the parents are here, grandparents, guardian, please come up to the front so that we can take your picture and give you an opportunity uh, to, to speak. We want to make sure you're in the picture, so get close. Take your mask down for the photo. Can you take your mask down for the photo? Don't breathe. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can't see mom. Okay. We can't see you if you stay back. Okay. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Get close. There you go. Beautiful. Got it. Okay. Any remarks from our parents? Any remarks from the parents? Um, I would like to say I'm very excited and I'm very happy. <clears throat> um, my children have exceeded all the limits that I have for them. Um, They've been shining since they were little and they have made me very proud and try not to cry. I know. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody who gave them scholarships and um, they're very responsible, and they're going to use it to they, whatever they need it for. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, we just want to say thank you. I'm not a talking person. I'm a crying, <laughs> so. All right. It's okay to cry. <laughs> I gave it a great Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. You all can take your seats. Make sure you get your gift bags in the back. Of, of course, we all know that the students could not accomplish what they've accomplished without parents. Parents are actually the first teachers. They're the ones that start them off. And we're so proud of these students that have come up. Some of the parents said that they've already cried at as many tears as they could at their graduation ceremonies. Um, they're so proud of their students, and we are too. And that's why they're getting this money because they have gone above and beyond the duty to make sure that they completed the necessary steps to get the application. So we just applaud them, we salute them, because remember, I told you at the beginning, these students had to endure the pandemic, the COVID. They, they weren't in the schools, they were at home. They had to work, they had to set up 
uh, laptops at the kitchen table or the, in the bedroom, wherever, but they got it done. So I know that these students are going to go far and they're going to come back and make us proud. Thank you for tuning in. Don't go away because we have many more scholarships to offer. Thank you parents, Horizon Bank, the Carlton Guthrie family, and the Martin family. We appreciate you. Stay tuned. All right.